Hey guys, so I'm gonna get right to the point of this video because I know that if you click this video, the reason you did so is because you really are interested in knowing how I fared after doing three months, that's right, three months of following Janet Davies' thick natural hair regimen. First off, let me say, when it comes to doing her regimen, she has three staple hairstyles that she kind of like circulates and does just from time to time. I will leave a link down in the description box below just in case you're new here and you're not aware of what those videos entailed and why I went on this challenge to begin with. Check that description box so that you can watch those videos. Just so you know, you may know the backstory. I'm gonna take out my hair. As you can see, I've got these very elongated twists. So how did I fare on this challenge? I was gonna answer this in a Vlogmas post, but I think I need to go into a little bit more detail so you guys can understand where I came from to where I'm at right now today. The first thing I noticed by following her routine, which included a lot of scalp massaging with the hair growth potion from Omenera Naturals. If I've honestly seen the most progress in my edges and in my edge line, and I didn't really do that much different other than massaging my temples and massaging my scalp. The bulk of my hair in the middle here hasn't grown that much as much as the rest of my hair has grown. But again, three months on average, your hair grows a half an inch a month. In three months, my hair would have grown an inch and a half if I retained all of the length. I did not. Why? You know, wear and tear on the hair happens. I've retained probably about an inch I retained because my hair, I mean, it was already past armpit length here, but let me show you from the back so you can see what it looks like because it's really kind of hard to tell from the front because the front of my hair has always been shorter. So I'm gonna keep it 100, y'all. I got on pajama pants. This is what it is and any YouTuber who gets on and tell you they be all dressed on the top and not dressed on the bottom, they lying. But let me turn around. I had to change the camera angle so that you could see a little bit better where my hair is because I need to push the camera further away. So y'all can see my pajama pants. It is what it is. My waist is here. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of ways to go. It has grown quite a bit over the time. I still have not reached my goal yet and I do have lofty goals, but I will say this, the massaging of my scalp with the, the hair growth potion is the truth. The stretch styles has greatly reduced my hair from getting any kind of like knots and I don't really get tangles as much only when I do wash and goals. The style that I was doing, um, the first style, again, I'll link it down below, but the first style was essentially this right here. Second style was doing a slick back ponytail and on my natural hair, that would probably be my second favorite. And the final style was actually a braid out done on wet hair. My least favorite style, will not be doing it again, do not like it at all. Some people like the way it looked, but it looks like a wash and go. If I want a wash and go, I'll do a wash and go. I don't need my braid out to be looking like a wash and go. So much tangling and I actually had got knots from doing that style. It was too much shrinkage. In fact, I would say I got more knots with that than I even did with my hair in a wash and go state. And that's probably because doing a wash and go, I do a lot, use a lot of gel. With that, I didn't use gel. I just used leave-in conditioner and oil. That's neither here nor there. I will not be doing that again. The final thought I wanted to share with you guys is this. From this regimen, obviously I'm keeping all of the hair products that I've been using. This is my staple hair care line. Now my go-to products, I love them. But this style right here with the blown out hair on twist, this is the only style that I plan on doing probably for the next, I don't know how many months. I do use my Rev Air twice a month to blow my hair out because I wash my hair twice a month and I'm retaining length this way. Every now and again, I will do that ponytail style with the braids or twist, more than likely braids because braids just give me less shrinkage than twist when my hair is wet and I'm not going to release it for a braid out. I absolutely love the silk scrunchies. When I tell you they maintain the elasticity in them, it's so good and then you just hand wash it. Any oils that are in it come right out. I use Dawn dish soap because Dawn takes oil out really well. And then I just wash them. And then basically this is how I am keeping my hair for the unforeseen future to retain as much 
length as possible. Not the actual end of the challenge as of yet, obviously because we're not at the end of November yet, but I wanted to get this in. We got one more week. Obviously, I didn't continue with the braid out that was done on wet hair. I was I switched back to doing this style. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I will leave all the links down below and I will catch you in the next video and I'm gonna be sharing a whole bunch more content, which is why I wanted to slide this one in. Thanks for watching again. Catch you in the next video. God bless you.